We do talk a lot about extraterrestrials on this channel, and I mentioned before that I do personally believe that there are beings out there in the universe and not just on this planet of ours. So it's really interesting to see news that NASA's chief scientist not only believe alien life forms likely exist, but she said the space agency knows where to look and could discover signs of life within the next decade. Speaking on a panel discussion about water in the universe, NASA's chief scientist Ellen Staffan said she believes the first indications of alien life could come by 2025, with more concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life coming in 20 to 30 years. Staffan said, We know where to look, we know how to look. In most cases, we have the technology and we are on the path to implementing it. So I think we are on the road. Of course, water, which is considered to be necessary for life is one of the reasons the agency is so confident about finding life beyond this planet. And water just keeps turning up in more and more places. Researchers have found water on asteroids, dwarf planets like Ceres, giant clouds between stars, and on many of the planets in our own solar system, such as the interior or atmosphere of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. There's also strong evidence that water is present in the five icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. While Staffan predicts mankind is likely not alone in the universe, she said she expects alien life uh, won't be the typical little green men that we see in the movies, but little microbes. My question is, are these the little microbes that will eventually take over our planet and use us all as host bodies? Yeah. The smaller, the deadlier, I always say. Have you seen Chucky or Pet Cemetery? Anyway, Jeff Newmark, NASA's interim director of heliophysics, predicted it was a matter of when, not if, for the discovery of life beyond Earth. He said, The pace of our discovery is amazing. We will be visiting Pluto, the last of the planets we haven't seen, with Solar Probe Plus. We will be visiting our nearest star in a few years. We're just continuing to discover what's out there. You know, it's great that we're actively trying to seek out life on other planets, but I could also see this as a potential dangerous situation. I get that some researchers feel that we're probably going to find these little microorganisms, put them in a little test tray and take them back to Earth, but we can't rule out the possibility that much more advanced alien civilizations are out there. And I do feel there are a lot of people out there who think that all extraterrestrials are peaceful and friendly. I mean, if we didn't think that, why would we send out signals all around the universe basically saying, hey, we're here, come check us out, we come in peace. You saw what happened to those people with the signs in Independence Day. Anyway, the way I see it, if there are alien races that comes to Earth, that means they're able to reach Earth, meaning they are way technologically more advanced than us. Think about this, put yourselves in their shoes for just a minute here. If you are an advanced alien civilization and uh, one day you notice the planet Earth because uh, the Earth Things are sending out welcome messages everywhere in the universe. So you, the advanced alien civilization that receives one of these messages, and uh, you check out Earth. You notice this planet with a bunch of people just hating and fighting with each other, polluting the planet, and basically sitting around watching this rectangular box with this horrendous thing called the Kardashians on it. So what do you do? Would you really travel a gazillion light years just to come to Earth and say hi, or maybe share some advanced technology with these people? Probably not. You would probably just ignore Earth or be like, hmm, don't like those Earthlings very much, uh, but we could definitely use that Amazon River. And that's how War of the Worlds happened. So I don't know, maybe we should keep a low profile. But who knows, maybe we are intriguing. Maybe they're already here among us observing us. Maybe they started a YouTube channel. Hmm. Not saying it's me, because I don't like traveling long distances and, you know, frankly, I wouldn't come here. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts about this topic. When do you think we will officially discover life beyond Earth. Let me know in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching. See you later.